Comet Atlas is an incredibly complicated comet, and we'll call it that for right now because that's how we see it in the press, and I'll link some articles for you in the description below. But this Comet Atlas has a long story, longer than you can possibly imagine, and we can go ahead and start our story in the modern era of this comet because it has come to Earth a lot in the past and it has a lot to do with Earth's formation um, because of its path. We'll get to that later. Um, our modern story starts with a fast radio burst, an FRB, and the first detection of a fast radio burst was done by Duncan Lorimer and his student David Narkekvik in 2007. And a fast radio burst is a sudden burst of energy that you hear while listening to radio static background. And you can also see it if you have a proper uh, measuring device that can see uh, radio traffic and detect a burst of, of energy, a transmission burst, a transmission burst. So this is the first time a fast radio burst had ever been seen. The, uh, the staff that saw it knew it was different, it was significant, but really didn't understand the actual significance of it. FRB 12.1102 was detected in, um, in 2012 and was not a big thing in the media uh, because it was just another burst. So it was kept within uh, the scientific community. But then in 2016, we had six new fast radio bursts. So suddenly the traffic of these radio bursts increased in 2016. So we had uh, one in 2007, um, then one in 2012 that was significant, and then 2016, uh, 2018, there were more bursts that were detected that we know of. And so something was happening. And Let's fast forward to, um, to 2018. 2018, something really weird started happening. All of a sudden, the United States federal government started shutting down certain solar observatories and certain observatories. So uh, these observatories were raided by the FBI and the military and were being closed. And so this was very odd. Maybe there was some white powder that was being sent. Some, some disgruntled employee maybe was doing some nefarious activities. And then there are some people in the uh, uh, extraterrestrial world, in the uh, alternate studies world, we're going, is something alien going on? Are we having some extraterrestrial activity? Um, and I will do an, uh, an analysis of a fast radio burst, but we don't have time for that right now. Let's move forward to today. And today is April 5th, 2020. Um, we are currently struggling with the coronavirus, coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. And this has been uh, a disastrous virus that has released all over the world and is killing thousands upon thousands of people and straining medical services around the world. Uh, this is a true tragedy unfolding. But then there's Comet Atlas. Comet Atlas is following the same track as uh, Oumuamua of Comet Borisov. And now we have uh, Comet Atlas. So we have three uh, what we call interstellar um, visitors now and this interstellar visitor is half the size of the Sun 
and it is within Mars's orbit. It is incredibly close to the planet Earth. There's been some discussion about this in the media in England, and some discussion by YouTubers. I started my discussion yesterday, but from the government, there's just not any discussion about this massive planet that is floating through our solar system. It's huge. It's half the size of the sun. Not its, not its energy ball, not its, at, its atmosphere. And that's right, it has an atmosphere. This comet, no longer a comet in our eye, this planet has an atmosphere. And it is heating up as it comes into uh, the, the radiation of the sun and the energy of the sun is causing this atmosphere to light up. So we're gonna see it in the next couple of weeks and we're gonna follow its trajectory and its trajectory is gonna go loop around, not the sun, but around uh, the planet Earth and by December 25th, it's going to be on the eastern side of the planet. It's going to be an eastern star. So planet Atlas, is a planet that has come back and forth several times. The governments are fully aware of this planet and its activity, and they understand that it is coming in peace, for lack of a better statement, but it is, thankfully. And um, it is going to basically be in our orbit for a while because there's going to be uh, interchange and activity between the habitants of planet Atlas and the habitants of planet Earth. So right now its journey is taking it into um, into the belt of Orion uh, and into the constellation of Orion depending on where you see it. So uh, this planet, planet Atlas, has uh, astronomical impact of course. It's floating through our solar system, half the size of the sun, the size of many Jupiters, some say seven, some say 10, some say even more. Uh, it's hard to fathom the size of this thing, we really haven't seen it. And um, it has uh, astrological, astronomical, and biblical um, uh, relationships. It is traversing through space, uh, so in that area of science, it's fine. It is following certain um, certain certain uh, paths along the constellation, so you're able to see it in certain um, constellations. I'm not a professional. Bear with me. And right now, it is in the most important constellation to many, many people in many societies and in the past, in ancient societies, even in uh, the, the Japanese ancient history, the constellation of Orion is just very, very powerful and very important. So right now and today, it is passing through the constellation of Orion, and this should be celebrated. I'm not sure why, but I think it should be. Uh, and then finally, it has biblical impact uh, because it is going to be the Eastern star. It's going to be the Christmas star. It's going to be the Bethlehem star for a while. So here begins the message. This is the story. Our governments are fully aware of, of Comet Atlas, of Planet Atlas, and to many in the scientific community that have been looking for it, both in the academic and in the amateur scientific communities, this is Planet Nine. This is the Planet Nine that many have been looking for, and it gets more complicated than that. But that's as far as I can take this story. Go ahead and research what I've put forth. There are links in the description below, and uh, I am putting together the breadcrumbs left behind by so many people over so many millennia uh, to put together the whole story, the whole loaf of the story of Comet Atlas, Planet Atlas, Planet Nine. And it has a couple of other names. We'll get to that down the road. So pay attention, be well, keep working. 
we have to keep our economies going, we have to keep eating, we have to keep these, these bodies going, uh, but there's going to be some cool things happening over the next months, years, decades, and millennia. All right, guys. And for lack of a better word, peace.